Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we're looking at a Town Hall 13 Legend League base design uh, provided by Blueprint Base Building. They are a pro base building organization full of pro base builders on their team. So if you're looking for a custom base or uh, a Patreon base, you can look at their Patreon in the description below, or you can join their Discord server to order a base. So this is a Legend League design, uh, anti-3 anti star design, meant for the 54 to 5500 cup range, somewhere around there. But you can use it lower and it'll still get a lot of results, even 1 stars in fact. So we're going to look at, this is the base, so we have the Town Hall 13 with uh, 3 single Inferno Towers. So we got the Town Hall in the back, or in the bottom, with all the ground expos, that's very common. One thing I'd like to note is that the Clan Castle and the Eagle are very close together, and this is possible to do a lightning spell attack on it. But the thing is, I've been attacked across five accounts, eight attacks each, in Legend League over the last couple of days, and not a single person has used a 7-zap attack on my base. So it, it's such an uncommon strategy that you can definitely use this base in Legend League despite that little flaw. But I wouldn't recommend it... I wouldn't recommend it for any high-level clan wars or clan war league wars. But that's not what the base is designed for anyway. So here's a fellow content creator, Echo Through Me, taking a look at my base. Uh, this is, by the way, my lowest account. And uh, even on the lowest account that I own, uh, lowest town of 13, it's getting a lot of defenses and even at high trophy ranges. So as you saw in the battle log, in the defense log, had a lot of 5,500, 5,400, 5,300 trophy defenses uh, based on very few 3-stars. And the 3-stars that they did have were so close that there's there's no way, no possible way that a, uh, that a max base would not defend that attack. But anyway, spamming in the Super Witches from the bottom, going into the base with the, the Quad Quake over the Town Hall to activate the Town Hall, get a bunch of damage off. But this is about where the base stops. And so, we have the Scatter Shots and the Eagle in the back. Scatter Shots are protecting the Eagle a little bit. And they defend the base very well from these spam attacks with a lot of troops in there, of course. And then the back end Inferno Towers make sure that it's, it's the uh, bigger troops are stopped in their tracks. So in the back end, we have all the Teslas as well. That's There's a couple of different reasons for that. Uh, one, it's very surprising. So if you have your queen out there, and you might have to use a rage early if you start your queen walk over there. Or if you use a uh, Yeti Blimp or something, you might be surprised by that. And also, it keeps the percent low. So even though this base is pretty much wrecked, uh, if you just look at it, the percentage is so low. It's not even 70% even though all the key defenses are gone. But a lot of people spam their troops, spam their Yeti Smash down here, and that's what keeps the percentages very low on this base. If you had those Teslas in the back, then, or in the bottom of the base, where the entry is, then you're just giving up that percent a little bit. So, to these attackers in the lower ranges, it's actually it's actually a lot better to have the Teslas at the top, where they can serve as uh, percentage shields for the defense. And that is the rest of that attack. 78%. Next up we have an E-Drag attack. I forgot to mention that. You have uh, four different attack strategies here. Hybrid, E-Drags, um, Super Witches, and Yeti Smash. This is a very common entry for E-Drag's top left. Uh, not exactly sure why, because it's quite risky, as you'll see in a minute. The early Warden ability is able to cover all of the E-Drag's, but for such a short amount of time, it doesn't really help at all. We have the free spells going in, a lot of rage spells, but the E-Drag's are kind of stopped when in the middle of the base, there's a sort of gap where there's a lot of, uh, where there's the Inferno Towers that are two or more spaces away from the next building. 
and the blimp was dropped really early, so he's not actually going to be able to get the town hall in this scenario. He kind of tries to get the um, air defense, I guess, but he's a little bit late. He could have, he probably could have made it if uh, if he dropped the royal champion a little bit earlier. But this is actually a very common reason why he get one stars on the space is he drags from the top left. So nice try to this guy, and he's gonna just collect a little bit of elixir, and good for him. Next up, we have the hybrid attack strategy from 90 of mini putts here. So, queen charge at the bottom of the base. I'm going to try and set up the funnel for the hybrid going in somewhere. It's not entirely clear where. I guess it depends on where the queen goes in this case, because probably not going to go to that wall break. Or not. Okay. So, Coco Loon, very good, but not fast enough on the Rage Spell, so Coco Loon doesn't actually help protect the... doesn't help uh, grab the Seeking Air Mine or protect the healers from the air defense. And that's part of the reason for this um, missing wall at the bottom. So then the Queen, you can't really predict where the Queen's going to go, and it makes it a lot easier to defend. That's why you see it a lot on the pro bases as well, where you don't have many uh, complete, complete closed compartments. So now he's saving the two star by dropping all the hybrid into the town hall. That's good. So CC for this base is hound and uh, archers, fifteen archers and a hound. And everything just gets stopped by the. The heroes, the expos, the warden, and he doesn't even have time to deploy all these spells. Uh, that's that's how much you really need to find a different entry for a hybrid attack on the space. So that hero going down, the queen going down pretty early, really affected this raid quite a bit. So that's going to be the end of that raid, just barely squeaking out the two star with the help of a couple of archers and warden tanking for the eagle. So, good luck to him. And of course, yet again, the uh, low percentage coming from the Teslas not being at the bottom of the base. If they were, then we'd have a lot better time uh, getting to that 50% mark. It's really deceptive how the buildings that are really close to the close together at the bottom make it seem like there's so much percent there but there actually isn't and it's kind of funny to watch all these replays and uh, see that in action so warden walk from the bottom on this base with the yeti smash attack strategy yet again an entry for the bottom and very slow start to the raid going on these uh storages so i guess we'll have to wait pekka for the funnel at the 9 o'clock, and also a Siege Barrack for even more beefier funnel. This Warden is kind of walking away. I wonder if he's going to bring him back with a couple of Yetis. And entry from the uh, 7 o'clock side. And that's exactly what's going on. Doesn't have a wall break, so I guess he's just going to walk around the, the wall. That's fine but does hurt a little bit of the reason for having the funnel there at 9 o'clock. Drops the Quake, uh, Jump and Quake, both in the core of the base, kind of. That's why it's nice to bring wall breakers with this kind of army, even if you're bringing still a jump spell and a Quake or two jump spells or something. It's still good to have the wall breakers there, so then you can break into walls like this on this base. Where there's the long segment of walls that are just just in your way. And it wouldn't even be worth the jump spell just having it. Because it's so easy to just wall break in there. And again, stopped by the core. Well, not exactly stopped by the core. Slowed down a lot by the core. And the single inferno towers at the back end of the base are just going to roast the rest of this army. And that's kind of the moral of the story here. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoy this base. I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.